Mitch, when you tried to get it going, did you put the first gear? No, um, second. Second? Yeah, well, the snow and of course all this stuff melting and going down this little uh, slope Bring it over there. creates a nice little puddle there. It's up on the right side um, on that bull bar, put it under and jack it up. Union Pass. We'll, uh, look, we're gonna make it to those trees over there and we'll all camp there. It's going up. Is that the end? Uh, well, try one more time and I'm gonna put some snow under it and see if that will work. All right. Well, in a way, I don't really want to remove this stuff here because it will prevent it from sliding. Let me see if I'll make a little room here and then uh, maybe I can go back and forth and compress it enough where I'll be able to back up and get you snagged. I don't know about you, but I, I personally prefer to deal with snow than with uh, mud. Try to remove some from the frame and all that. Huh? I remove some from the axle. Spinning completely off the ground. beaching both of us looks like it, another storm is coming
All right, it actually was very promising, but because Toyota has open differential, so the tire that was spinning first didn't have a traction, then gained the traction, the other one starts spinning. So since uh, Land Cruiser is locked, we'll do the other way around. We probably should have thought it from it the first time around about it, but we did not, so we'll have to learn as we go. And that's the, the valuable thing of getting out here and uh, doing all this stuff. He's ready. Okay, so we got the Toyota out and then me, professional, beached, and beached it again. There's a Russian saying that, uh, let me see if I'll translate it. Pain is very, has a very clever imagination. So we, um, the Toyota doesn't have anywhere to put the hydro lift jack. So we put the strap around the wheel and lift it up that lifted it that this way and measure are you having fun huh? are you having fun better than sitting at home exactly right, right. do you concur Mac huh? do you better concur yeah right I mean it is tempting especially for for young people to sit there in front of the screen with uh, some kind of shoot shoot them up game but i'll take this any day and think of it this way see when i was growing up i didn't have the opportunity to learn all this stuff we're doing but, all this stuff by ourselves anyway might as well learn how to do it so we can get out yeah but i didn't per se have done it but life experience just you know, lets you come up with little ideas like, uh, you know, putting the strap and lifting it up and stuff like that. So the more you do stuff, even unrelated, it will help you in life. Okay, lesson is finished. Everybody's dismissed. Max is laughing there. <laughs> I Say again? Up <laughs> you feed off negativity. Makes me want to prove them no, wrong. but but it's true that when I got this unstuck, I should have gotten unstuck uh, the cruiser, but I decided to. I don't know. All right, I think I'll be safe. The thing is that you didn't have any problem making it all the way out there, so I figured I'll just back it up and I'll start uh, compressing it. But um, you don't have to max. We're not going to be going backwards. Oh, you mean for the rear tire? Yeah. Got it. Wow, that stayed up quite a bit. Oh, yeah. It worked. No, I've done this before, like, 
uh, the high olive jack and getting some snow well, under I mean, it. With the cruiser, it was heavy enough, it sunk right back down. Well, we didn't lift it high enough. Next time we will do the same thing. We just didn't have enough jack lifting it by uh, the sliders. If we would have done the rope by the wheel and lifting the wheel, it would have been much... Uh, we would have gotten it out or out already. Well, could have, would have, should have. I'm glad that that storm uh, bypassed us. It was uh, it was looking pretty nasty for a while, but it just uh, took what west from us. I think, yeah. Took the valley down. Beautiful scenery though. tires on the driver's side and the rear tire used to leak really bad and then it fixed itself now that and then right after that this one <sighs> it's almost mm -hmm. D dig out right below. here. Yeah. All right. How's the other side too? <laughs> Why don't you pull up your pants? <laughs> Just a minute. Let me get this side. Okay. Front. Am I climbing anything? Not really on this side. Has this side? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna get back to the side push. Okay, let's start pushing too. Excuse me every time it goes. It was right here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Mitch, ah. start hook, hooking me up. Get Catherine the camera. The camera. And um, Max, uh, where I, I go, all, all the snow, put it under me so I can keep uh, packing. packing.
Don't accelerate. Accelerate a little bit. Tell him to stick, stick his head out and look at the, and so the wheels will be here. moving slow. Mitchin. for one second. Let me disconnect D-ring. Coming. <laughs> You're not impressed? <laughs> Look, we, if I'm not going to do anything stupid in about half an hour, we should be around the, the fire. You're going to do something stupid, I bet. Are you, I'm, am I disconnected? Yeah, go ahead. Decided to watch this, you're gonna probably crap your pants seeing that. <laughs> He'll be like, oh my gosh, my truck. Don't worry, we're taking care of it. And we get the cord for no. Eh? The cord for the winch. Yeah, we're not going that way, winch. Maybe. 
up to you what you want to try. I made a line where it's good. He's already on dry. He can pull us out from here.